The race to the moon is heating up once again. Now, it's a focused sprint between NASA and China for lunar supremacy. NASA just reopened the Artemis III moon lander competition, aiming to land astronauts at the lunar South Pole before China does. The South Pole of the moon holds vast reserves of frozen water, critical for future lunar bases and long-term presence. Originally, SpaceX's Starship won the contract to build the Artemis lunar lander, but key testing challenges have delayed progress. NASA needs speed and reliability. Delays open opportunities for other companies to offer competing or support solutions. Blue Origin, among other companies, is now back in the running, ready to compete for a spot in the Artemis program. Dynetics, another major contender, brings innovative lander concepts and heavy focus on crew safety to the table. Meanwhile, China's Chang'e program has made rapid advances, landing and operating robots across the lunar surface. China's goal is clear. Put astronauts on the moon by 2030 and potentially establish a permanent research base. For NASA, China's rapid schedule is a wake-up call. The new race is about more than just landing on the moon. Securing lunar water means energy, oxygen, and life support for future missions, critical for long-term exploration and resource independence. Artemis II will soon orbit the moon. Artemis III aims to land the first woman and person of color on its surface. The world is watching. This is more than a mission. It's a contest for scientific leadership and geopolitical influence in deep space. Whoever leads this new moon race will shape global technology, exploration rights, and the long-term future beyond Earth. Who will take humanity's next giant leap? The United States or China? The next chapter of lunar exploration begins now.